Did you grow up in church since we're talking about divine transactions? Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Next question. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to church. I've been baptized twice. Um, twice. I, yeah, I, just got, I got baptized in 2018, 19. You had a re-up. You had a re-up. Yeah, yeah. Everybody keep telling me I got a re-up. But, um, Most people need to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, hey. Yeah. What's up, y'all? This is another episode of Glad TV, and I got a special guest here, local, Carlos Smith. What's going on, man? What's up, Doc? How you feeling? I'm good, man. It's great to meet you, man. All day, all day. All day. I, we said this off camera, but I didn't think you was black. Yeah, yeah. Even when I saw you. Yeah. Uh, until you said Smith. <laughs> until you said Smith. I could be Puerto Rican. I, I thought you were. I could be. Or Dominican, because that's the... Healthy. Either way, either way. My mama was tweaking. She was tweaking. My, my sister's name... She was tweaking. She was tweaking. And she was tweaking. My, Elaborate on that, because that tweaking, tweaking means like losing your mind. She like, was tweaking. I oh, mean, okay, okay, okay. It's an urban term, I guess. I thought it was an urban ethnicity you created. That's like, cool like, like Taliban and... Oh, no, 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 no. Tweaking. She okay. was tripping. She was, she was tripping. Okay. Because my, my dad's name was Carl. Mm -hmm. My sister, she's an older... My older sister's name is Carlita. So I guess Carlos was the last thing that she could pick. Okay. Yeah. That's unique. Yeah. I won't say she tweaking. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's unique. That's I'll unique. I'll say it. I'll say it. Well, I'm glad to have you here, man. For sure. Um, I got a lot of questions. Some um, are pre, but then I got some that we just vibe out. For sure. I'm not an interviewer. So you good. Shannon Sharp. It's a conversation. <laughs> I'm a conversationist. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a journalist. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not an interviewer. Not a journalist. Yeah, I'm not at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I just believe in... Having questions and talking, which is an interview. Absolutely, so, yeah, yeah. Shannon Sharp, you're a journalist. You're a journalist. Uh, my first question is, why Lake County? Uh, it's a great question, man. That's um, dope, ain't it? That's dope. Yeah, man. three que three words. That's it, man. No, no, is it? Yeah, yeah. Why yeah, Lake County? Three words. Go. Well, my mom, um, I was in foster care in Chicago, and my mother got custody of us, and we moved from Chicago to Waukegan. So as simply as that, we moved to Waukegan. I was there for a couple of years, and then I went to North Chicago, which I rep North Chicago more than I rep Waukegan. Even I love Waukegan. My business is in Waukegan. But I'm a North Chicago guy. Graduated okay. from North Chicago High School um, through and through. 1717, 17th Street is what built me, is what I tell people. That school was the foundation of, of creating me. So I guess that's why Lake County, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Where are you from, though? Are you, you was born out here? No, no, no I was born in Chicago. In Chicago. Born in Chicago. Have Cook you County. ever lived anywhere outside of, like, the Midwest area, East yeah. Coast, West yeah. Coast? Yeah, yeah. In foster care, we lived in uh, Omaha, Nebraska. Wait, 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 wait. Foster care? Yeah. Let's rewind this. You want to okay. go back? Yeah, let, let's go, go, the, go back. When they hit the root? Foster care. Let me hear that. So. It, as, there's a story in that. It's a story. Yeah, talk to me. You want the whole story or you want a quick story? Whatever you want to tell. I bet. You and the um, podcast. He's a, po he's a podcast. I know. So he gonna, he gonna condense it. Quick for y'all. Yeah. Uh, so as a young baby, my mother um, went to prison. And she, on, on her path to, I guess she knew she was going to prison, she gave custody of us up to a neighbor of hers. We lived in the projects 3547 Federal, low end of Chicago, 30, the Stateway, Stateway Gardens. She gave custody of us up. Um, to a neighbor, mm -hmm. and this, this older black lady took me and my sister in and kind of took us around America with her. My job, I'm a baby, so I don't know exactly what's going on. Right. I grew up calling this lady mom. This is my mom, this is the only lady I knew. Um, I think it was about the second grade, I came home from school one day, and my mother told me, this is your mother. And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? Um, and ever since then, it's kind of been a journey with my mom, um, maybe, fourth, fifth grade, my mother got full custody of us and okay. brought us down here, as I just mentioned to you. What's crazy is the day my mother got custody of us, my foster mother passed away. The, the day. day? The day. Um, she was an older lady, and she told my foster brother that she was holding on until my mother got custody of us. So that's a, it's a pretty cool story, but it's a sad story, obviously. But to this day, it's difficult for me to call my biological mother mom because really? of that that thing that happened to me in the second grade. So, um, but I know she's my mom, I love her to death. She's my business partner in our business. So, um, but that's some stuff I gotta work through one day. Maybe yeah. God will come help me out one day with that one. 
<laughs> I'm, hey, that's a lot. Yeah. Because yeah, the timing yeah. is cool. Like, not not cool, but like unique. She held on until mm-hmm. that's a, like a divine transaction almost. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. Did you grow up in church since we're talking about divine transactions? Not at all. Okay. Not at all. Next question. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to church. I've been baptized twice. Um, twice. I, yeah, I just got, I got baptized in 2018, 19. You had a re-up. You had a re-up. Yeah, yeah. Everybody keep telling me I got a re-up, but... Um, Most people need to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, hey, yeah. you got to die again, right? Yeah, and, and rise again. But I think New Year's Eve was a big day for a lot of people to get... Baptized. Oh, it was New Year's Eve? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. But I saw a lot of people get baptized on New Year's Eve just to kind of symbolize a new them. And I was like, maybe I should have did it, but I wasn't thinking. It didn't click. It, it, it didn't, didn't take click. Another no, name. it didn't. It's, it's, it's okay, man. It's a lot of people that's <laughs> baptized seven times. And Facts. Worse. Facts. Uh, what's your passion in life? Uh, telling stories, I think. Telling stories. Um, and that's why you got into podcasting yeah. and, yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think telling stories in a, in a really cool way, in a crazy way. How'd you know um, you knew how to tell a story? Because that's not easy. I just knew how to talk. I always knew how to like be able to convert conversation into story and, or convert uh, experience into stories for people, even young adults that I've mentored. Yeah. Um, drumming was my first passion, is my first passion, before I got into like journalism stuff. But I played okay. the drums as a, as a kid in a, a marching drill team um, and then took that. I stopped being, I was a director of a national champion drill team maybe six years, four years ago I stopped. But uh, this is the first time in my life I haven't really instructed a drum line. So it's kind of weird for me really? the last four years because I've always kind of instructed kids and, in a musical way. Let me ask you something. This is even, this is on topic of that. It ain't even in notes. Uh, yeah. I believed, like watching the movie Drumline, that Nick Cannon was doing that for real. Yeah. Until he went on 106 in Park and got exposed. Facts only. When you saw that movie, did you? You probably was older than. Uh, I was older. young. No, I was young. I was. You be, was it believable? It's not believable now. Like going I back knew to what I watched that he wasn't playing. That's that drum. Yeah. 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 See, I, I'm a keyboard player, so I don't. Yeah. I don't yeah, know. yeah. 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 I, yeah. I don't know. I. I but they did a good job, though. The movie and the editing and stuff. The ed- yeah. 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 The editing, because he was. Yeah. He trash in real life. He is. DC Young Fly's really good. On drums. He's really good. He really? played drums. Like snares? Yeah, he played marching march percussion in high school. So he's he's really... They're thinking about doing Drumline 3 with DC Young Fly. There was a two. Nick Cannon, he was in a movie yeah. at the end, but they should have did it like another year. Yeah. It should have been like his senior year in college. It, but, was, it was bad. I think it was on BET Minus. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it, was it was bad. Garbage. It was bad. It was bad. It was real bad. It was real bad. What's the name of your podcast? It's called The Crazy Riot Show. Is there a meaning behind... Yeah. Go ahead. So my my at name is Boy Los Crazy. Boy Los Crazy. Boy okay. Los Crazy. Obviously, Boy Carlos yep. Crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, and the name came from in high school girls. Carlos, you so crazy. Carlos, you crazy. Why are you crazy? <laughs> Boy, you crazy. You so a lot about yourself. There we that. go. Yeah. Uh, so I took that. <laughs> I took that name and made it my you know kind of mantra. And then everything's crazy behind it. Crazy place, which is my business. Uh, Boy Los Crazy. Uh, crazy ride show, crazy turn, got a 360 camera. Everything's crazy. Nice. Yeah. How long you been doing it as far as the podcast? Uh, we've been doing it. We started in 2016. I was one of the, and the only reason why I started a podcast is mm-hmm. because of Facebook Live. Yeah. Uh, I was one of the first 10,000 people to use Facebook Live, the feature on Facebook. You had an iPhone. I had an iPhone. Yeah, and it I, wasn't Because it didn't let anybody yeah, else do yeah, it. Yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. That was divine that, transaction. See, 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 yeah. see, see. Yeah. God is not somewhere. Yeah. Um, so it was, it was cool to do it that way. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you good? Our director got an uh, Android. No, oh, you got an Android. Yeah, okay. he, he upset. Oh yeah, because I texted him. It was green. Yeah, 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 yeah he right, his right, feelings. Right, right. He got. Yeah. He got to get it. He didn't see Shannon Sharp podcast <laughs> till today. You know, till today. Bless his heart. That's funny. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't see it till today because he got an Android. Yeah, it's pixelated. Yeah. It was buffering. It was. It was loading in yeah. slowly but surely. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, we started to do it. We started doing the podcast on there. My first guest was actually a crazy, crazy guy. It was kind of like really Jerry Springer. I was going to ask thing. you about yeah. that. So yeah. Like your, your first guest. Yeah. Why can't, why can't I think of his name right now? But he was dealing with, it was a, he went viral. Mm-hmm. 
like kicking his girlfriend out of a car because she was cheating on him. So he decided to come on my show. Yeah. Uh, but I, I was doing a kind of pre-recorded stuff, but not really a lot. He was my first live guest, and it went like viral. So ever since from that moment up into like recent time, we were doing a show called T-Shots. Okay. And T-Shots was like Jerry Springer. So we would bring on like people going through relationship issues, a drama, they beat up somebody, we would play videos, it was crazy. Yeah. And at that time we was at our height reaching like 10 million people a month. Nice. Um, yeah. And but, but we didn't know what we was doing, we was just doing stuff. Right. Um, so that was the basis of it. And some people still have that stigma on me that we were just doing trash. Constantly. I actually love that. Yeah. I love that. Uh, yeah. um, that 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 part of TV is needed. You can see why it's all syndicated now. Absolutely. And it, it's cool to see color mm. reach that audience mm. rather than the opposite. Facts You Facts know, on. gaining Facts wealth on. off of our stuff. Being Absolutely. Out of the, you Absolutely. Know. Uh, you are. You already said you started in 2016. Mm -hmm. uh, when did you? Um, what made you go from podcasting to entrepreneurship? Um. A pandemic, honestly. I mean, I made money. I made good money off of just the show itself. It was ad and advertisement, local advertisement. Yeah. Um, but the pandemic introduced me actual brick and mortar opportunities. And it started with this business called Power that we opened up. Um, well, I helped open up one of them. Um, but it was it was kind of a, a rec center. We, did, we put a basketball court in. Nice. And we put a soccer field there. Hoop? We put I hoop, definitely hoop. Like for real? Oh, we hoop. Kobe's my guy. My son' name is Kobe, so we do that. Like, a lot of people yeah. have biblical names, sons, yeah, yeah. and they in prison. Well, that's true. You know, praise they, God. Yeah, like but they, you know, but that means something to me, though. You know, what I mean, it's like, deeper. Okay, it's so deeper. You, you, my lifestyle is is right. that. So uh, I don't know what time it is, yeah. but it's on tape. Yeah, it's on tape. We're gonna bring these cameras to a gym, please. And we we gonna see if you still gonna be glad. Oh yeah, we gonna be glad <laughs> after versus you or versus it don't matter. Oh okay okay okay. It okay. does not matter. Okay okay. okay. As a matter of fact. Segway. All you gospel preachers, because they it's a lot of them. Yeah. All you gospel singers, Jonathan McReynolds, uh, all you all y'all that well, Jabari Johnson, they all local. For sure. All y'all that been talking trash on IG and never show up. Yeah. Me and you can chicken. we can run them up. Barbecue chicken. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay. Sunday I got I gotta see this. All day long. Yeah, I got And see I ain't hooped this. in a while, that's easy for me. It's all good. All okay, day. okay. It's yeah, all it's good, easy. man. Yeah, for sure. Just, if we on the same team, give me the ball, we win. I got you. You know. You gotta pass it though. Nah, I got you. Yeah, for sure. I got you. If I'm open. Nah, you'll be open. Yeah, for sure. I'm a threat. They, okay. They'll come. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not, not yeah. Sure, I got you. I got you. Um name your son Kobe. Yes. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Let's go. Before the hype, before the yeah. him passing away made a lot of people jump on that bandwagon. My son's eleven. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that you know. So is Kobe number one to you? I know they say even but I gotta ask. Yes. Yeah. To me. Why? Personally, yes. Why? Resiliency. Dog. You know, if you hear the story of him joining that USA Olympic team in two thousand and eight. I memorized it. <laughs> <laughs> I memorized it. They all say yeah. Without Kobe, there's no, there's no medal. Right. Because he was showing them what the difference is between y'all and me. Do you appreciate the Kobe disrespect that's going on? Because he's not in a lot of people's top he's 10. Never, he's never in a top 10? Yeah, I've been seeing some. Yeah. They talking about. If he's like, not in someone's top 10, they. It's wild. Smoke crack. For sure. Yeah, yeah. They, they cluck it. Since you're, that's your favorite player. Definitely. Do you use. Uh, some of his mentality, watching or inspiration no for your decisions, local business. No question. How would you like say that helped you like in your business aspects? Just be like a, just be more. Whatever I did, I'm gonna do it at a high level. I don't do anything yeah. medi mediocre. I don't produce mediocrity. If it looks B movie is C movie is I don't want to do it. Right. If it sounds garbage, I don't want to be a part of it. Don't put anything around me that's not quality. You know what? You know, you because that that makes me feel some type of way in a good way. Yeah. Because you you being on social media and you doing this, have you ever noticed like you'll put a lot of time into something, mm -hmm. post it, and then something you do on your phone, yeah. which is crap, yeah, just goes stupid. Oh yeah, for sure. But one thing that I realized that. There's more consumer than creator. You preach it. Go I'm ahead. preaching. Talk, talk to me. So th there's more consumer than creator. The creator is going to overthink his creation. 
the consumer is going to consume what's available. Now, some consumers are adjusting to higher quality product, but yeah. most aren't. Yeah. Most will take whatever's in front of them right now that sounds funny, that sounds cool, they'll take it up. And that's the part that I'm adjusting to and creating things is that I may not have to put a million hours into creating something that someone would assume, would consume. That's true. Yeah. Knowing that aspect, where do you see your endeavors like five years from now? Well, I've always wanted to be nationally recognized. I don't know if that's too, uh, you know, if it's too much. Um, all you got to do is review food on TikTok. Well, that's true. That's all you got to do. That's something that's going yeah. crazy. Keith Lee's be going negative. crazy right now. Yeah. Yeah. Keith Lee's positive. Yeah, Keith Lee Just is Just be positive. negative. Just be bogus about it, right? Yeah. Um, this gave somebody game. Yeah. Somebody do it. Yeah, do ne- do bad trash. Everything reviews. you eat, you don't like. You're gonna be you're gonna be on. Um, gratification is the word I was looking for. Gratification. Gotcha. Uh, the national the national syndication is what I want to be on. I just created a a pilot for a reality show that we just created called Twerkers R Us, which is I won't go into. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't want to <laughs> stop there. I don't want to stop. Twerkers. Don't make are me. St- don't make us. me stop. Don't make me. Stop. So you don't gotta get into it. Let me just think though. Yeah. Let me imagine. You tell me what the show is. What, just the name. Yeah, Twerkers R Us. Yeah. Proud Twerkers. Proud right? Twerkers. Because that's who they identify as. Proud. Wow. Okay. It's heavy. So there's yeah, a lot to. Yeah. That's freaking hilarious. Yeah. Well, it's a bottle girl service. They do bottle service in clubs. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they're really cool. They're really cool young ladies. Reality bosses. show about the, that. Okay. So we just finished our pilot last night. Nice. Um, which we were almost done editing right now. Nice. Almost. Looking so at now you're dipping into reality TV, uh, a, a bar mm-hmm. or a lounge like. Whatever. The crazy place. Private event space. Private event space. Mm-hmm. Crazy place. Um, podcast. What else? Um, drummer. Drummer. Teacher, instructor, mentor. Um, yeah. You do know there's only 24 hours in a day. I do. I'm realizing so this how, did, how How or what advice do you have on juggling all that stuff? It sucks. It really does. because It helps. It sucks. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, only because you're not able to, I'll tell anybody, you're not really able to really harness anything unless you do it at a high level. If you can't, if you don't produce, if you do everything kind of like, uh, yeah. then you'll never really see the best result from that effort. And yeah. that's the, the sucky part about me is that I'm scatterbrained in my passion and I never really perform at a high level at most of it because I'm not spending that much time on it. Right. Uh, but my business obviously gets most of my time, a crazy place. Um, and then second to that is kind of free, working with Legacy Renchi Foundation. We do a lot of work in the neighborhood, working with teens and working with people getting back into, uh, out of prison, back into life. So that's something we also do. Nice. Um, and violence, we do a violence prevention program called My Block, Your Block, which I'm a spearhead of, help stop violence, prevent violence in the neighborhood. So that's the second part. Crazy yeah. place, then my community stuff, and obviously I'm a father too, so that's big. T- How many kids? One. One. That's one. And that's Kobe. That's Kobe. I was going to say that's Kobe Jr. <laughs> that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's Kobe. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, How yeah. old is Kobe? He's 11. Nice. He's 11. I'm going to ask you something. I don't have kids. Okay. So I'm going to ask you something. Yeah. I was always curious about people that have kids. What is it like uh, seeing something that it was your choice to make exist. Mm. Your choice is interesting. Yeah. Um, Responsibly, right? Well, I, it's probably the most emotional thing you'll feel without having to, without something like being invoked on you, like something like hitting you or, no, it's just you. It's just right. uh, you. When I see my son, it's just automatically emotional. Are you emotional. seeing stuff that you didn't teach yeah. him but it's stuff you did, and you like. So, what is that feeling like? It's. I'm terrified by it because I know what I was when I was a kid. I'm not so uh, religious, but when when I connect with my son, it has to be God, because for something to look like me, act like me, and be me, that connection that me and him have, it's it's effort that I've put in for sure. But if you look at the story that I just told you, yeah. with my dad never being there, yeah. And me having the ability to nurture this kid, that's God. Because I wasn't equipped with that. Yeah. No one gave me that in a sense. My stepdad was really good. Um, his name is Carl, too, by the way, okay. um, which is weird. But um, 
that's one of it's kind of a testimony to say like yo if you don't believe in anything you should and when you have a child it's it's direct connections to that type of stuff yeah 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 um so you're not a jesus freak and i'm not gonna dive too deep into religion Mm -hmm. but the thought of let's say a scenario of you loving a generation or a group of people so much that you offer up your son Kobe mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to redeem that generation that you love. Mm. So it's like the thought to do that yeah. is what I think a lot of people miss. Yeah. Because if if, if God is mm-hmm. going to do something like that, is it that he don't want you to do that, to do that, or does he just want you to accept what he did at the end of the day? That's good. And that drives from religion to relationship. Because mm-hmm. we got a lot of religion. Don't For really sure. got a lot of relationship. For sure. For sure. Because the relationship with you and your son is the relationship God usually wants with us. Absolutely. And we kind of like push yeah. that to yeah. the side yeah. because we think, oh, you want us to. No, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. there are things you want your son to do that or not to do that he's going to wind up doing anyway. Yeah. You know, yeah. so mistakes are a part of uh, your son becoming more like you and mm. who he is. Mm. You know, that's good. Uh, that's good. You just, you, you just preached. You just preached. You know, you got a sermon on. Just throw it in there. You got a sermon on. I didn't, but I didn't. I didn't you put didn't, a scripture yeah, text. You good? You good? You like good, that? Good. What's your favorite genre of music? Uh, hip hop for sure. Hip hop and R and B. Uh, R and B, hip hop. How you feel about Lauryn Hill? Okay, next question. Yeah. It ain't Lauryn Hill's yet, crazy. So. She's crazy, man. Crazy good, right? We don't want a deformation of character or. Definitely she, crazy she, good. Yeah, she nuts. <laughs> She's, I've, I've, heard, I've heard industry stories. Yeah, yeah. And then I've heard, obviously, the outside stuff. It's, I don't know. God bless her soul. I'm in the church scene. Yeah. Right? So Lauren Hill was young and famous. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of famous young church people, too. Mm. And Lauren Hill's attitude, I've seen in church. Mm. Like, I've seen, I've played for some of these pompous, arrogant mm. people, man. And mm. it's, Lauren Hill is the typical diva. Mm. Typical diva. Mm. Uh, like Who didn't write any of her songs. Yeah, that's what that, now that's a, yeah. that's a heavy, yeah. 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 She doesn't own any of the songs. If you go see Lauren Hill in concert, and I've heard this many times, none of the songs are arranged in their original form because they can't be. Yeah, that's heavy. It's crazy. People say these songs sound so different. Yeah, I know they do because she can't play the original version of the song she <laughs> because she'll get sued by the label that she's stuck in. Dang. It's crazy. Well. But we, we praise her in the name of Jesus. God bless her. <laughs> bless her heart. God bless. bless Lauren, bless your heart. God bless Lauren. Uh, sugar, sugar plum. Absolutely. Um, the next question ain't on there yet, so yeah. let me ask you another You're good, one. you're good, you're good. Um, <laughs> Technical difficulties. It's cool. We work. It's, we got an Android system. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> you got to update it up. iPhone 15, 16. Um, let's, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. What was your, outside of the first episode of your podcast, like, or have you ever had situations where it was getting real tension? On a, on a podcast or on a taping, and how did you handle that? Because you said you had relationship stuff going on in, well, as well, right? Crazy, uh, craziest story I could tell you is that, because we never did taping. Okay. Actually, um, this coming to, come to this particular studio was the first time in my mind that I thought about recording anything that I ever, done, I ever did and oh. not go live. You're talking about... True Conglomerate? Shout out to True Conglomerate. Yeah, shout out to y'all. I didn't know if I could say it on camera, but shout out to True Conglomerate. Oh, yeah. They, uh, good, all of it. Good people. Just a plug. Good people, man, good people. They love God, love yeah. Jesus. Oh, yeah, man. They fit yeah. right in, right yeah, there. It's man. a slot for them in heaven already. Man. Yeah. They, they, they disregard their, rev- uh, what was it called? Reservation in hell. Mm. They just got rid of this, it. This disappeared, you know? just you moved know? it, removed it. Yeah. They don't eat swine? I don't, I don't think. <laughs> 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 no pork, no pork, <laughs> and I'm doing this because ain't no questions on the screen. No, we Bless good, God. we good, we we, we go, you know. <laughs> we freeing, we freeing. Free so yeah, like, yeah. So I was, it? we was live the whole time for five years. I was live. Mm-hmm. Um, incident happens, young man, crazy. My first guest comes back on the show, okay. uh, talking about another young lady. Mm-hmm. This young lady shows up live with a bat on camera. <laughs> ready to beat the guy up. 
Shout out to Trix Reloaded. That's her name. Um, and she did a show with me that went viral as well. Trix so Reloaded. That's her name. Trix. Shout out to Trix. We love Trix. But she pulled up with a bat about to beat the boy up. And her brother came outside about to beat the boy up. So that's the crazy situation that happened. And I filmed it all. Like it was Jerry Springer. I filmed every minute of it. You, you ever see like uh, the new, the, it's the King Kong movie with Jack Black? Yeah, yeah. And, and everybody died. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling like we got to keep this. Get the going. shot. His <laughs> best friend yeah, just yeah. got ate by a monkey. Just eat it. Just, keep just eat it, film it, and eat it. He's going crazy. He's filming every, you need the ratings. Make for a good movie. Oh, man. Yeah. I wish I was there. Yeah. And, and that was a cool thing because. No one at that time thought to just use their phone and go live. This is when it kind of expanded out. Yeah, yeah. No one else thought like, well, I can go live. They all would just come to me. Yeah. But then the reason why the show didn't continue is because people would just set their phone up and just do it themselves now and get the same amount of views because people love mess. So yeah. that's why that kind of died and T-Shots died. It's got another offer to somebody wanted to come on and do it, but it was too, you know, too deep. Oh, man. Yeah. What topics are like, are anything off limit? As far as like when you talk politics, about a little bit only. Speaking of politics, yeah. what do you feel about like in general or specific about today's culture? As I far mean, as politics or just in general? In general, like like the direction we're going in. Black. We'll start black. It's tough. It's tough. Um, you know, owning a, a, a club in some in some eyes, I think that our culture, we have a really rich culture, but it's always also some elements of it that really suck mm -hmm. as far as like caring about each other, looking out for one another, um, and being cautious about each other. I yeah. think that's where I where I exist in being black. It's totally not non-existent because I run a venue that people will come in and just destroy it if they could, if I would allow them. True. Um, right. And they don't think like this is a young black dude's business. Let's not do that. No, right. that's not the thought. Right. Yeah, they didn't during the riots and stuff during. Uh, yeah. Because uh, in Wisconsin, <clears throat> I was I was down the street. Yeah. From when they was doing the riots, when yeah. that young man shot that other guy yeah, arm yeah, yeah, yeah. completely off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, during I think it was just George Floyd. Oh yeah, for sure. Right. I was there. I was there. Um, and they was marching. They they, they didn't care what business. No. You know, and I kind of feel like I say it all the time, but a lot of people don't get it. Yeah. And I, and I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Is anger the best motivator? It's the quickest. The it's the quickest thing to go to um, that makes you feel justified. Because something hold else. On, hold on. See, you need to preach yeah. so you know when to let the amen happen. <laughs> <laughs> Say what you said again. That was good, man. Yeah, it's the quickest thing to go to to feel justified. To feel justified. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Because I, I, I think people, the other route takes a lot of effort and energy mm -hmm. to really figure out how to fix that thing. Yeah. Because uh, some people think of that as a huge issue to tackle. How do I get through some uh, systemic racism? How do we? How do I do that? I I can't fix that. Yeah. The best thing I could do is showcase my rebellion towards the system. So that's what we did. That's what most black people did. Um, I didn't. I was literally marching in every march in Lake County, and I saw the differences of different communities and how they handled it. But um, we just wanted, people just wanted to feel like they mattered. Then some other people just wanted their moment and the moment. Right. I want to do something stupid because this opportunity allows me to do so. Let me break a window. Right. Um, which convoluted the, the mission, right? Even in the 80s, in the 60s, when, when Rodney King, not in the 60s, in the, in the 80s when Rodney King got beat, same kind of thing. A lot of people were hurting for real. Right. And then there were other people who just were hurting other people who just because they had the opportunity to do it. You know what I mean? So I've got a very controversial question now to add on to that. Mm. Do you think the other side understands our anger never lasts long? Yeah. They placate on that, for sure. And what do you think is a good way to start the conversation on how we can start moving better? Because, like it or not, we've tried this stuff before. Yeah. Like, it's, you're yeah. talking about cycles after yeah. cycles, and yeah. then still we, we yeah. minimal things change. Yeah. Um, other communities actually get more change done than 
our community sometimes. Absolutely. So it's like not sometimes, but yeah. most of the time. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Well, it's it's. I think it's the positioning. The positioning of us is tough. And, and I was going to do a show one time called "I Hate Being Black." And the reason why I was going to make it, I know it's going to be a controversial topic, but our culture sometimes won't allow progression. Um, individually, we don't allow progression. Yeah. Myself, um, being a business owner, coming from where I came from, people don't like that. The average person that's from my hood doesn't like that, for real. They'll say they're proud of me, they love it, but they don't only because they have to reflect on where they're at. They don't make it about me, they make it about themselves. Who are you preaching? So now, if you think about that on a, a macro level, right. it's the same, same philosophy. You know, that's exactly what happened with Cain and Abel. Yeah. Wow. You got Cain, who is upset at the progression of Abel's sacrifice, mm. and didn't look at himself mm. and just say, hold on, mine wasn't as good. Mm -hmm. Abel, what did you do? Mm. Instead of that, he got upset wow. and insecurities, and then he killed Abel, wow. which opened up a door of a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. And it's like, what you just said is like, we don't look at each other as, how did you get there? Mm -hmm. We looked at what you got there, you know. Yeah. Just one word changes the meaning yeah. of all this and, stuff. And it's 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 kind of self hatred in, in, a, in a lot of ways because it's like, how did you do that? Right. How were you able to do that and I wasn't? And we come from the same place. Versus saying, well, if he can do it, then I can do it. So it's it's a like it's a play on just the motivation of people. Self people that are proud of me are people that say, I can do it myself. Yeah. I can do that too. People that are not are the persons that says, why did he, how was yeah. he able to yeah. do that? Yeah. Which is tough. It's yeah. tough to exist in success and not combat that every day. That's a real. Yeah. That man said it's tough to exist in success yeah. and not get mad at the ones that hate your success. Absolutely. That, that was clean, yes, dog. Yes, I'm yes, telling yes, you, you just need scripture. And That's it. I did that, that, you, you connected. Just connected <laughs> Cain and Abel. We just connected Abel and Cain. Absolutely. absolutely. That's good, man. Yeah. yeah. I really want to ask another question. Go but ahead. It ain't up there. Oh, man. <laughs> That's it. You good? That's just, it. <laughs> That's it. Well, can I, can I ask you some questions? Yeah, well, no, yeah, for sure. I can, yeah, yeah. What kind of, how was your journey in being in church? Is that like a kid thing? Were you a kid in church? Most kids who played, who are really good, grew up in church. How did that happen? Yeah. Um, it was trash. Wow. Um, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was good playing, though. Mm -hmm. um, the stereotypes are true. Mm -hmm. uh, church kids are wild. Yeah. <laughs> um, church, uh, my some of my motivation back then, back then, back then, back then, back then. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, back then, you know, the choir competitions, the musicals, and all that stuff. If you can play in every key, yeah. you know, uh, Shaniqua over there with the tambour tambourine. Yeah. If you Shaniqua, my bad. Um, you know, we love Shaniqua. You don't need game. You don't need That's to it. know how to talk. Just play her favorite song. Mm -hmm. You know, and then when your the, crush walks into church, exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those videos, let me calm down. <laughs> That's why those videos go so crazy. Yeah, and, and I kind of wish I didn't do those mm -hmm. videos because mm -hmm. the stuff it yeah. is wild. Yeah, I'm sure the I'm DMs like, go crazy. It's just the comment. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. I be your crush? Yeah, Where yeah, your yeah, yeah. Where is your church located? Is the one I get the most <laughs> for what? For me to literally see you. And start playing genuine. Like, you. That's funny. That's and there's funny. a demographic. Of yeah, I'm that's, sure. I'm sure. Yeah, they, they, they right, pull up wanna, on you. I don't want to. And you might be like, hold up, pastor. A yeah. couple put up. Oh yeah. A, a couple have yeah, 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 pulled yeah, yeah, yeah. up, and, yeah. I'm, and, and I know how to send people off okay. respectfully. Okay, 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 okay. I do. Push them to you the learn ears. that in church. Push them to the ears. Yeah, you yeah, you, yeah. you learn that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but. But it was a it's a big competition, unfortunately, in with church musicians. Mm, they mm. start out um, you know, just jamming and then you get told that um you guys are church musicians, but y'all need to if y'all gonna do this for real, y'all need to become musicians mm. and not just church musicians. What does that mean? It means behave like a musician. Mm. Church musicians know them church songs and they just practice to be able to play in church. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've played outside of church. I've played a whole bunch of places where you get looked at sideways for doing that um, within the community. It was it was taboo back then, mm -hmm. but not now because mm -hmm. uh, people know. There's a T-shirt that say, 
you this is what a church musician wants to get paid next to what the church requires that musician to be able to do. Mm. And under the requirements from the church, it says chicken dinner. <laughs> and when you see all the requirements to be as good as what the church wants, yeah. I mean, to know how to play all this. Gospel music is one of the genres that has every single yeah. genre yeah. In, in it yeah. and just Christian words. Yeah. I got a video that went viral. Um, I'm playing the blues. Yeah. They used to preach against the blues, mm. right? It's the same chords to a lot of Shirley Caesar songs. Wow. Same. Yeah. Those chords without the words was your great, great grandmother's twerking music. Mm. At the juke joint. At the juke. Willie Earl, mm. Hattie Mae, mm. Clementine, or yeah. Clementine, was all <laughs> going crazy to Shirley Caesar's music. Feet, yeah. And it's like, Moonshine. somebody said, man, you that, like you playing the devil's music and all that stuff. And I'm like, it's, that it's the same That's, chords. It's so heavy like, to hear you say it out loud because when even going to William Murphy in a little bit, obviously the, the words in that song are worldly. Yeah. And maybe shouldn't be played in church. I get that part. Yeah, especially the hypnotic part. Hypnotic. Yeah, yeah for sure. But I remember hearing that, and you could tell me if I'm wrong, I'm not that versed at all, that the devil was the minister of music and his wings would flap and music would play, I guess. So, and there are actual chords that are associated with feeling in this. Is this true? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, okay. <coughs> <laughs> this we about to get in trouble. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> there's what's called a major chord and a minor chord, right? Right. right. A major chord is a chord that feels happy. Mm -hmm. But minor chord is one that they say feels kind of sad. Mm. It just changes with one note. The problem is most prophetic music, mm -hmm. when they prophesy it, is in a minor key. Mm -hmm. um, and if you think about the Passion of the Christ, the music where he's walking. Mm -hmm. It's a minor scale. Mm. They afflict emotion, but it, they don't, like, words are more powerful than the music. Than the note. Words are way more powerful than music. Gotcha. Um, music takes time to sit back and, and think, and everybody gets deep with the frequencies and stuff. I'm going to tell you straight up. I'm going to tell you straight up. Uh, I'm kind of sick of people... Uh, categorizing the devil as the creator of creatives. Mm, mm. The devil was created himself. Yeah. So how is he the creator? Where does all this talent come from here? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. The, God, the Bible says Too God made credit. evil for the day of evil. Mm. Evil has a purpose for the day of evil. Yeah. God is the only source, right? If you, I'm not arguing with nobody, but he made us creative, not mm. the devil. Mm. And it's just one lazy people. Yeah. short-minded people, people that just don't have conversations, mm -hmm. that try to use their ignorance to make themselves feel better. Mm. You call that zealous people. Yeah, that's heavy. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's just yeah. people full of zeal. Oh, you you, you excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people are excited and went and started their own church, mm. went and started their own thing. If you think about it, um, who? Michael B. Jordan. Mm -hmm. Michael B. Jordan was called a geek or corny. Yeah. And then he made it big, Yeah, but still had that his yeah. success yeah, did yeah, yeah. not diminish how he felt back in high school. Absolutely. Right? And that's huge. It's crazy. And that moment said how so How in the world do you, you remember her and what she said? Your growth didn't supersede this the story pain that grew you from where you at. So if it works with that, it works with religion. Yeah. It works with uh, musicians that really wasn't that good. Mm hmm podcasters that really wasn't that good, comedians that mm. really wasn't that good, when they get a platform, they still got all those unhealed wounds I, I tell and you, all that stuff. This is crazy how it correlates to business owners, too, because we have, and I'm talking, we have a lot of black men who own bars today okay. in Lake County. And what you see is their trauma of not being accepted is now blown up. Because now they're taking advantage of the power that they mm -hmm. have yeah. and doing everything that they always wanted to when they were kids and they couldn't do it when they until they had the power and the money to do it. Yeah. I'm literally living that now, not me personally, because I'm able to, of course, I've done things that's stupid yeah. because people perceive to me 
to me to be rich or to have these things, which I do have nice things, but that doesn't make me whatever, but it does placate on my past trauma or me being insecure Man. about certain things, but now I'm gonna wash that over because I have power in some funds to do certain things. So it's crazy that you say that in the church, but it, it correlates right with the growth of any person, I think. Yeah. Even in church as a pastor, that person, because I've heard this too, like pastors are still people mm -hmm. and still have insecurities and those yeah. things come out at the worst times when you do have power yeah. and money. Here's the problem. A lot of pastors preach their convictions and mm. not the gospel. Mm. They preach, uh, it, it's, a, it's equivalent to a, a, a child that grew up with no parents mm -hmm. or grew up with parents that uh, didn't give them certain things. Mm -hmm. What goes in that child's mind? When I have children, mm. I'm not going to, mm. that's their motivation. Yeah. To be, they're gonna be everything they didn't have. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Already assuming that their child wants what they mm. wanted. You know what I'm saying? That's so that's heavy. what a pastor does that's, that's unhealed. They get wow. up there and try to make a whole church, kind of like the William Murphy thing. Yeah. Like, like what it, he meant well, mm -hmm. but he's doing what was in his heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, with, with platform comes responsibility. Mm -hmm. You should Don't record it. Mm -hmm. Let your church be your church. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. why, why does it have to be live stream? Mm -hmm. At the point, like, if you mm -hmm. want your, your people, because yeah, yeah. it looked like everybody was swag yeah, 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 yeah. But here's yeah. the problem. Yeah. Now, everybody in that church has to defend you mm. to the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you got the 150 people that you said gave their life to Christ. Yeah. Starting to hear everybody in the world, oh, did I really? Yeah. Is this appropriate for me? Yeah. Like, yeah. That's that's the crazy thing. You know, it's it's a... When I first saw it, I loved it. And then I had three pastors come on my show and give me some meat for it. Pause. Pause. Super hey, pause. Yo. Super. That was crazy. <laughs> that was actually crazy. Hey, yo. That, Tim, you got to edit that out. Yeah, we got to um, keep that in. No, we got to edit that out. Please, that was crazy. That was super crazy. Give me some meat. That was, was crazy. wild, bro. That was crazy. Three pastors did it, too. <laughs> You gotta edit that out, man. <laughs> edit me. No. Uh, man, I don't even remember what I was talking about. The, the meat. No, not the meat. The three pastors was telling you about the swag surfing. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, man. Super pause, bro. Oh, my what would down. that be? That's a menage a three. Oh, right? man. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been swallowed? <laughs> this interview's over. This interview's over. Ah oh, man, that was stupid. Oh, that man. was that was crazy. That was both. They gave you a different perspective. Gave me a different uh, 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 point of view. There you go. Yes, sir. In the world um, that I didn't have because I didn't come from the church. I don't, I don't come from this this mentality. I still feel like what he did was right, though, more than wrong. But and, and it tells you about my position in life because I'm not in the church. Mm -hmm. And from someone that's on the ground of, in the world for real, like I own a club that we play this song every day. And if I was, if this was my first, and I tell people all the time, even on my show, well, if that was my first introduction to Christ, I would have walked towards that. Because it was the easiest segue for me to find him was where I'm at already. And of course the rules and regulations were broke. The culture and tradition were broke. Mm -hmm. But being outside of that, I don't know that. True. I don't understand what you're talking about. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that's the approach that some people might be missing, mm -hmm. is that there are people that don't know what you're talking about. There that's are true. some people that have not acknowledged Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and, and thought that he would die for them. But if William Murphy ushered, in, ushered them into Jesus that day, that may have been their first introduction to, to Christ. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, I, I would put it on another perspective because that's what my social media is all about. For sure. Uh, preachers using anything and making faith practical. Mm -hmm. I say it every time I preach. Yeah. I'm like, bro, I don't want y'all to just stand up because you think you're supposed to. Mm. Like, I always say, like, when I say, uh, do you want to give your life to Christ? There's a thing that go around here. 
preaching like everybody close your eyes mm -hmm. if you're not saved lift your hands so you're not mm -hmm. seen by nobody mm -hmm. I, when I was in the club I was seen by everybody mm -hmm. so if I'm ashamed to be like I want to see what this Jesus man talking about mm -hmm. if I'm ashamed that you watching me walk down the aisle wow this ain't nothing bad right yeah. that's what I'm saying so we have already put a stigma on it and it's a kind of lazy the Bible says he that wins souls are wise mm -hmm. right wise uh, William Murphy, what he did was cool. Mm -hmm. It was lazy, though. Mm -hmm. He's a musician. Mm -hmm. Using another right? tool. Make your own song. Yeah. Like, like, if, if, like, Jordan, every Jordan that came out was not the same as the last one. Right. Which means creativity made them shoes popular, too. For sure. Originality. Mm -hmm. Uniqueness. Difference from the others. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Swag surfing, when it came out, there was no song like it. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. As we were talking about music. Yeah. Songs go hit because it's unique. Mm -hmm. So, and that's somebody sitting down with their own creativity. Right. The same thing with gospel or introduce, introducing somebody to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Just be creative. Mm -hmm. That's what Jesus was when mm -hmm. he walked to the woman with, in the well. He used his charm and charisma. Mm -hmm. Where your husband at? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I, oh no, yeah, because the one you with ain't even yours either. But you know, let me talk. Like, like yeah, it's just yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, he never turned that off, and we do though because we don't like those hard conversations. Mm. Some people, like, I can have a conversation and somebody don't take Jesus. It's mm. not my job to force Jesus yeah. on people. Yeah, it's my job to be like, All right, I'm gonna plant the seed mm -hmm. because that's what you want to do to me. Mm -hmm. Most people that don't believe in God and stuff like that. Are really concerned about people that do. <laughs> like they the, like. I think the little pushback I'll give you, and, and most people probably would give you, is as I said on my show, a pastor, and I asked this question, I'll ask you this question too, is the job of clergy, we're using that word, mm -hmm. is that job to be so above the, his, his or her congregation that his actions should be different than most common people? In the sense of a principal and a student. Yes, right. He should be, in or he should be different. He should be right. held to a different human standard. Gotcha. Not subhuman standard. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, to the point, like, if you out here as a pastor, out here sleeping with 70 yeah, women. Yeah, yeah, you tweet. Right, you, you, yeah. you bug it, yeah, you know. Yeah, but if yeah. you out here, you slipped up, you made a mistake, like, as a pastor, you have taught us forgiveness. Mm -hmm. We have to walk, the, we should walk this thing out yeah. with you. But when pastors use their power, because mm -hmm. nobody, the Bible says, he that is ruler of all is servant of all. Yeah. Who is He that is greater than all is servant of all. Yeah. Jesus himself said he came to serve. Um, it's not about like, uh, I, I know what you mean. Yeah, 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 they, yeah, yeah. they had a um, perceived perceived level. behavior yeah. pattern yeah like yeah. i shouldn't look at the pastor and see literally that man struggle mm -hmm. with everything right, right, <laughs> like right. like i shouldn't like <laughs> right. I, you got struggles yeah but yeah, if yeah, i got yeah. to hear every sunday bro i ain't perfect yeah, 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 i'm yeah, yeah, yeah. still you justifying like, everything yeah it's yeah, like yeah, how many yeah. times you go to the gym before i see any type of cuts right 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 like right, art right, is right. what you telling us to do working on you right Right. So do you, you should see something. Do you have any church hurt? No, I've seen it though. Okay. Uh, and you know how I don't have church hurt? Because mm -hmm. I do what the Bible say. If any mm -hmm. man have an all against their brother, go to them. Mm. I'm not about to sit here and be mad on my way to home. Hey, bro, I ain't like the way you talk to me. <laughs> like at church. <laughs> right the there. Bible tell you to Don't go hold to. it. Yeah. Like yeah, it's yeah. just, it ain't nothing personal. And that's not like, hard for you to do because it's, you're just following a command in a way, following the, the rule. Yeah. yeah. I'm, well, not even a rule. It's just I, I was raised that way. Mm. I got beat. Mm. I got whoopings. Mm. I got mm. discipline. Mm. My brother Josh, drummer, he said the greatest thing for a drummer to do is to get chopped up by a drummer better than him. Oh, yeah. Why? Because you see where you stand, and it gives you levels to either grow or quit. And you can't deny <laughs> like, yeah, you, he's better than me. Right. Better, yeah, Same yeah. thing in church. Same thing in life, man. It, it's inspiration all over. It's just, bro. To be honest, it's these preachers and pastors that started a church because they wanted to feel important. Mm. Mm. The Book of Eli, Denzel Washington. That's if you take movie. this book and use it, you can control the world. Absolutely. But in that same book, it says the letter, the words itself kill, but the spirit make of alive. You got people that can't read preaching this book. Mm. Illiterate, as mm. Cat Williams said. Illiterate. <laughs> 
That's the top, that's the thing, and Facts. you judge a tree by the fruit it bears. That's how church hurt happens. Mm. I'm expecting something from you that ain't even in you. Mm. Like, bro, you a dog? I mm. see the fruit. Yeah, sis, you want the money? Yeah. You slept with every musician in the church. Mm. That's the fruit. Mm. I'm not gonna expect something different. That's heavy. If I do, I'm gonna get hurt. Mm. Them the ones they be like, yeah, I'm the musician. She gonna stop with, so I'm gonna marry her. Mm. No, she ain't. Bro, you tripping. Don't do it. Let a new keyboard come out. And they got it first. <laughs> like, it's just that. When you when you mention, you kind of trigger me a little bit, when you mention parenting in a disciplinary, disciplinary way, getting beat, I remember getting beat, extension cord, it was crazy. Yeah. Um, did that come from church teaching at the that time? Parents? Yeah. I think probably, or is it, is it a, I don't know, is whooping a culture thing? Black, I think black whoopings are, I think it's a religious thing. A religious thing? I think it comes from that. Well, spare the rod, yeah. spoil the child, yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. 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 I deserved every whooping I got. <laughs> I look back at it. I deserved every You're back single. in? You're back in? Oh. But you're a young guy, though. You're not, you're not too young. You're 33? Not, yeah, you're a young guy. You're a young guy. I'm 35. But I deserved it all. 35. <laughs> thir- two years. I'm right there, right there, right there, right there. <laughs> no, I deserved it all. I was bad. Yeah. I was a professional st- thief. Yeah. Like, I stole from Blockbuster. Wow. Skills. VHS. Skills. Games. Oh, games. Skills. I had a system. Dreamcast? Games. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever game it was. Games, man. Um, and I learned that from my uncle out here. I learned all my bad stuff from out here <laughs> in the Midwest. <laughs> Yeah, my cousins, yeah, I learned everything. We get it, we get it out I, the mud. I seen my cousin, my uncle, steal a mop from Dollar Tree. Wow. He had it in his hand, turned the corner, no, it was that. in his coat. Crazy. A mop. That's crazy. A mop. He was wow. still household goods. It wasn't even like. <laughs> he wasn't selling that for <laughs> he was, him. He was selling for the family. He was like, Mama, you, we need, what we need? He like, Some Mama. soap. Yeah, he'd go get cleaning supplies, man. It, it's like, you catch him stealing that stuff, it's like, do I even oh, get Go mad? ahead, son. Like, go ahead. Send them send a note back. Back in the day, you send a note to the store. Just send us a note back, son. Please send us a note back. That's interesting to hear, man. I think uh, my story is somebody stealing. Um, one of my friends stole a payday, and that was the only time I was a part of stealing anything in my life. I stole it with him, and a year later, he was murdered for stealing. And I, it told me, I said, don't ever, ever steal anything. So I, I can't do it. You've had those... I have to say divine issues in your life. Yeah. Your your foster mom yeah. died the day your mom got yes. custody of yes. you. So um, you just, it seemed like you're in a space where you're trying to connect the divine to mm, something. Mm, uh, and you don't want to put a label on it. I know it's God. Yet. I know it's Jesus. I, thought, I, I, I know it's every, I don't pray, but every day, three times a day, I just look up and say, thank you. Thank you. Because I'll ask God for something like, yo, I need you to help me out, bro. I really do, and I know I'm bogus for just asking you for something no, and not. not well and not living my life in the give, best way. I'm gonna give I could you scripture be. so you can use it. Go now. ahead, give it to me. Lazarus died. Jesus shows up to the grave. He's already dead. They're yeah. mad at him for being late. Remember mm. the story? He's in the grave. I don't remember the so story. Lazarus is a friend of Jesus. <laughs> yeah. His uh, sister Martha, Lazarus' sister Martha, they sent word to Jesus, who was only 20 miles away, one mm. day away. He gets there four days late. Mm. He literally waits for Lazarus to die. Wow. Martha, who I know is a black woman, shows up, meets Jesus halfway. This is how I know. Yeah. She says, if you would have been here, my mm. brother wouldn't have died. Mm. Right? He says, your brother shall live again. He gets to the grave. He tells him to roll the stone away. He says, Lazarus, come forth. Lazarus literally walks out of the grave. Mm. Right? Here's the thing. Before he said anything, he prays. He says, Father, I know you always hear me. I'm only saying this for everybody around me. Mm. So you don't have to say anything. Mm. The Bible says he knows what we need before we even ask. Yeah. The fact that you have that thought of I need to say it is good. Mm-hmm. That's what makes it prayer. Because mm-hmm. you don't have to open your mouth. Wow. You just walk well, thank and, you for and that. do what you, yeah. I just had, you know, just no, see, I, you walking heavy. But so what I'm saying. <laughs> um, see, Jordan one. Uh, you walk, yeah, ain't one. nobody say nothing. They yeah, do it too. My walk, heart is hurting. Yes, yeah, Because ain't nobody said nothing. Like, the, the heat, like you put on new <laughs> shoes, ain't nobody goes, it's just, I borderline want to jump into no, a car. That's true. That's true. Eh? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, every time, t- uh, this, this month, I mean, last couple months I've been doing it, man. Like maybe six months I've been doing it. Just thank you. Like every time That's I walk genuine. in my house, I say thank you. I definitely say thank you because I know he's like, 
Boy, you better give me some. Yeah. You better give me some. I think God is way more chill than everybody. Mm. You think about it, he knows the he's the epitome of knowledge if you yeah. believe in the word god yeah. like he's the yeah. epitome of he knows what you're about to do what you might do yeah he knows every scenario it's like it's weird to think about how much he knows mm. like it's it hurts you it mm. i was gonna say it hurts your head but that's a pausable moment yeah it definitely was um super pause it, it hurts though to Almost. think about it give you a headache yeah let me ask you this question respond to this i think my relationship with god has been affected negatively by black church. Respond to it? Yeah. You want me to take the honest route? I want you to give me what you're going to give me. My relationship with God is affected by the ignorance of the black church. Mm. Here's the scary part, though. Uh, once you get to a certain age, that can't be an excuse. Mm. Because the heavens declare the glory of God. Like you look in the sky, you look in this, the, the moon, you see how big the universe is. Mm. The fact that Jupiter is the exact size big enough to take all the asteroids that's supposed to hit the Earth because of the gravitational pull. Mm -hmm. If the Earth was slightly on a different axis, we couldn't live. Yeah. Like it affects every yeah. single thing. And if you look at that alone, take the Bible out of it, you've got to say, yeah. there's something bigger than me. Yeah. Then you look at DNA has more freaking information than the universe can buy. Mm -hmm. Like one letter from your DNA change, yeah. you don't exist. Right. One. Right. Out of trillions yeah. of letters. I've heard um, the scientists say that. He was like, it's amazing that you're alive. Right. Like, you have to realize how amazing it is that you made it. Right. Because there's some people that just didn't make it. That's exactly why I say ugly people are needed. <laughs> That's exactly why I believe it. <laughs> that ugly people are in, ordained by God to exist. <laughs> they have to be here. <laughs> they have to be here. You gotta here. relax. <laughs> Dude, you think about I hear you. I, I feel that. I feel that though. Because yeah. there's no difference, there's no contract. Yes, the they were made. There's no yeah, mistake. Yeah. I would say gender, but ugly people had to take that hit for it. Like, like gender, they too sensitive. That's funny. Yeah. That's funny. That's, funny. that's deep. Yeah, that's, that's, deep. that's how we, I take that I approach with, about with different things that I do in my life, for sure. That, that's how I think about it. I mean, even if, if you take the universe out of it and think of your life, mm -hmm. just those two things you shared, mm -hmm. the foster mom dying the day mm -hmm. your real mom got custody, mm -hmm. and she said she held on until that day. Mm -hmm. Who gave it the strength to hold on? Yeah. How do you hold on to your own life? Mm. Like, how do you make that choice? Mm. You're about to die, but yeah. you wait. How yeah. do you do that? Yeah. Like, where does that come from? That's, uh, that's why it says a fool has said in his heart, there is no God. What I will say is that my anger towards the black church affects my relationship with God. Mm. Because a lot of people have this testimony. I don't really believe in God, but I'm mad at him at the same time. I, I don't think I'm mad at God, though. I, I didn't know, say you. I no, I'm just saying know, just, just, just to speak to fact. Like I, I know that I'm not. I'm just, as simple as me taking my head off in church. I hate that. Hat off? Yeah. I hate the fact that the tradition says that I have to take my hat off. And if I don't, then I'm disrespecting the house of God. I'm like, well, that's tough. You know? I preached with my hat on. Yeah. And I just get up and say, I ain't got a haircut. <laughs> No real talk. But some churches, yeah. yeah. I've been I've been through a church where I play the organ the whole day mm. after church. I'm I go back and I start playing a little bit more. A deacon come up to me and say, We don't allow people on our instruments. I played the whole service. Mm. We you shouldn't be up here. I'm like, Wow. Oh, so you weren't you weren't it's in a Baptist here or church. It was. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna say the name, but it's yeah, definitely yeah, yeah. in Lake County. Oh yeah, I, know. <laughs> I can feel. I can feel where it's at. I can just feel. Yeah, a lot, that those are the tradition. See, the great thing is to find a healthy balance because you got mm -hmm. some churches that just go too far. Yeah, yeah, they're just lights and smoke, and there's mm -hmm. no relationship. <laughs> you know, I've been there too. Smoke. Yeah, that's crazy. Smoke is crazy at the church. They do. Crazy. They they the haze at the yeah, church. They do the haze because they got they some oh, they churches got the, light got the lights. Mm -hmm. I played at a church. That's a club. That's what people say. If you want to go to the club, go to the club. I played at a church. I kid you not. I played at a church. Huge. Played at a church. The church had the exact equipment. Yeah. Same soundboard, light board, lights as WWE. Yeah. The exact. That's crazy. Exact. They got some money. Yeah. 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 
Exact. It's wow. a. It's there are some churches where the sound guy is doing production at the church and and then has to fly mm. and do T Pain's concert. <laughs> It's the same skill. That's crazy. It's the same skill set. Wow. It's a, it, a lot of them are production, but some people product God out of the picture. Mm. Swallowed. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting, man. That's wow. Yeah. Wow. It's, and the hard part is trying to find a healthy balance. And most of the time, you might just get that with your own relationship. Mm. Picking up the Bible, reading it for yourself. I've never read the Bible before in my life. That's probably why you got so many questions. Facts on. Because, you know, you ever heard if I had 10,000 tongues? I yeah. Could, that's not in the Bible. Mm. Never was. David never said it. Mm. Never said it. Wow. Nope. I thought it was in there. It ain't in there. Mm -mm. I Googled it. <laughs> it literally comes up. I did this extra, has never been in the Bible. I did extra, I did extra <laughs> research. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. There are a lot of things. I, I talked to some people. They, there are a lot of things they grew up hearing. Mm. That has never been in the Bible. Mm. Never. It's just a tradition of the church they grew up in. Uh, the only story I remember for sure is the pillar of salt story. Looking That's back. That's a dope story. Yeah, it's a crazy story. You know why? Yeah. Historically, historically, she turned into salt. Mm. <laughs> Kevin says, says she turned into Larry's. <laughs> 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 but she turns into a pillar of salt, but the way her, her body was... Her body was facing the way it was supposed to go, and her head was looking back at yeah, Sodom. Yeah. It was just symbolic to say you can't move forward mm -hmm. looking back. That's all it. Yeah. That's all the story. That's what meant. I took from it. Yeah. yeah that's all the story yeah. meant. Yeah. Uh, everybody was talking about how jealous God is and all yeah, the yeah, evil yeah. God. Some people say the Old Testament made God look like Ike Turner. Definitely. No offense. Definitely. To everybody that knows. The story. The story. <laughs> yeah. No offense. The stories I've heard from that is definitely it's some scary stuff. Yeah, and, sure. and some of my favorite stuff come from the Old Testament because. It's just, it, it literally, when you read the Bible slow, I'm going to put that on a shirt. If mm. you just read it slow, not trying to impress anybody, mm. it all points to Jesus. Mm. And all of those scriptures. Even the Old Testament? All of it points to Jesus. Wow. And all of it literally is hundreds of years before Jesus even gets there. Right. It all points to him if you just take it and read it slow. Uh, Joseph. Remember him have dreams. If you I don't remember heard nothing, well, man. you know, never mind. You gotta let me you know. know. It's all good. Too much. To, it takes <laughs> take too much time to bring that one up. It's it's just all of it. It's kind of like the the Old Testament and the New Testament are is so faceted together. It's mm. almost like how neatly tight the universe is. Mm. All of the scriptures point literally, and they came years. And then you got Islam, who came 500 years after Christianity was mm, established. Mm. And then you got them fighting over all this stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, I was in college, and you just hit a point. In college, one of the teachers asked my sister something, Debbie Spencer, and she's a she know God, you know Jesus. She with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the teacher <laughs> asked her a question, and and he was like, "What if the world ends the way the Muslims said it ended?" And she said, I'll be fine. And then he said, what about the way of the Buddha? What if in the way the Buddha says it's going to end? She says, I'll be fine. And then he, uh, he asked her one more religion. She said, I'll be fine. He said, why would you be fine? He said, because I know that I lived my life the way I wanted to live it. I lived it right. Ba based on these terms, most people that don't believe in Christianity, that are good people, are almost living a Christian life. Mm -hmm. And she hit me in the face with that. I'm like, dang, for real? She's like, yeah. I mean, some of the principles that are in these other cultures don't. They don't align up naturally. Some of these things allow you to do crazy stuff. And I was like, that's deep. That's yeah. deep. Yeah. That's deep. Yeah. It's, it, but diving into that stuff gives you more of things to think of instead of your own uh, imagination. Mm. Like knowing what's in the mm. Bible, knowing what Muslims believe, knowing yeah. what the Mormons and stuff believe. You ain't got to believe what they believe, but just knowing mm. what they believe mm. And, and putting it to, you just follow stuff where the evidence tells yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the evidence is good for Christianity. Yes, sir. Yes, it's sir. just good. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. so, yes, sir. all right, um, you got any events or anything coming up? Uh, we, I mean, we, Crazy Place is open, man. Um, Wednesday nights, every Wednesday night we do R&B and tacos. Uh, Friday nights we do a vibe. Saturday night we do, pri we do private events. 10 o'clock we open at uh, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Um, anybody want to come by and say hey? Come by and say hey. February fourteenth, we got a really cool event coming up with uh, with some cool guys I know. 
Should be uh, should be cool. Bishop Bosley and his squad are coming through for that. So it's amazing. We work yeah. for Bishop and yeah. they're getting paid. Yeah, it's crazy. That's church crazy. for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, Bishop, but you know yeah. the truth. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, this has been a great episode of Glad TV. Listen, listen, listen. Subscribe. Support is action. I don't. I love the likes. It helps. I love the comments, but subscribe. For sure. That's what helps us black men uh, get out the barrel and leave other crabs in there. For sure. I, that was a butchered. I like that. It was yeah, good. I like that. It was dope. I appreciate you That's coming it. through, man. <laughs> I'm only totally said this, man. <laughs> we good. That was dope, man. That was good. That was good. That was good.